here to give a little update, a little part three to this ghost crashing issue. Um, just got off the chat with uh, live support and uh, our latest thing is to, I tried tightening the Y axis belt and uh, it was a little loose. So right now I'm just doing a test run of one part to see if we get any shifting and uh, crash detection is off. You can still hear a Y axis related noise happening. Let's see if I can get it on a long run. It seems like it's coming from the bearings possibly. But this is just a test to see if I can avoid for now taking off the uh, heat bed to access the sliding rods to test the bearings. So if it doesn't shift, it's a good sign. But so far so good. I mean, we're, we're four layers in. Let's see if I can do that. No Y shifting so far, but you can kind of hear it. It's coming from the corner. The noise in the corner. I'm going to try to get a microphone of some kind so you can really pick up all these noises. heard that that shuddering so that shuddering I'm pretty sure is contributing to whatever is happening it was a shuddering on the y-axis movement it seemed like it was coming from the right hand side which has a single bearing if I recall correctly so it could be it could be a bearing it could be a loose rod um, I'm going to double check the bolts, make sure all the bolts are tight, holding the Y axis together, and uh, yeah, just keep poking around. I'll keep you guys updated what I figure out. So I just want to give a part three, and I'll let you guys know the results of this test or this solves it, just tightening the belt. And again, I think it's a band aid because if it does solve it, you can still hear the noise going on. So um, we're just trying to get some production going. So. If it gets us back on the production for now, it'll, it'll work, but we'll see where we're at in the, a little bit later. This print has nine hours on it, so if we make it through that long with no layer shifting, that's a good sign. Peace.